<clears throat> all right, first and foremost, I'm going to give all glory on it and praise unto my power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shalom to you sincere are the true believers. The title of today's lesson is The Vision is Not a Far Off, meaning it's not, um, the days aren't prolonged, meaning, you know, basically that vision is speaking of uh, the end, man, salvation, I mean, you know, uh, many, many different things, speaking about the different prophecies that are in the scripture, speaking of Jacob's trouble, the famine of the word, the mark of the beast, World War Three, Esau, Edom being brought low, Yahweh Shai's return, all of these things are not afar off, right? Because like you said, like it reads in Luke, the 21st chapter, lift up your heads for your redemption draw of nigh. And with our redemption, you know, is, is an amalgamation of uh, so many different things, right? Like, w which was just explained, you know, what, you know, the things that I just went over, all those different prophetic things that have to happen, you know, uh, includes our redemption. You see what I'm saying? Because that uh, our redemption includes Esau Eden being brought low. And we see that that's happening. Right before our very eyes, man. You know, it, it's a lot of things going on. You, you know, you have the, um, the stuff going on with the with, with the border crisis. You know, I believe uh, America sent fifteen hundred troops down there to process a lot of the immigrants. You know, from from the Northern Kingdom tribes. It's trying to seek asylum in America. Uh, you know, you know uh, these Babylonians getting turned up by that. You got uh, China on the brink of uh, um, uh, uh, what is it? What, what is it? Invading Taiwan. And Joe Biden, he's already uh, announced on live television, mainstream news, mainstream television that if that would that if that would ever happen, they're back in they're back in Taiwan. While at the same time, these BRIC nations, which which is Brazil, Russia, India, and China, right in South Africa, these nations are coming together to you know to come build their own digital currency. While at the same time, <clears throat> you know, devaluing the dollar, meaning you know causing America's uh. uh uh, uh, dollar status. Uh, 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 it's like the American dollar is being a reserve currency of the world to 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 be replaced, man. So meaning what? America's losing its strength, its dominance, its hegemony, fighting wars on multiple different sides, while at the same time lacking, you know, so many different morals, you know, um, uh, moral moral uh, moral issues within within America. So basically, just showing that America is actually done, you know, all at the same time while having a supply chain crisis, a worker shortage inflation you know that like that like that the, it the, the list goes on you see so that the problems are just never ending here and that just marks and shows that you can't have a society be the top society the superpower of the world while all of these things are happening and you'll have people that recognize these things like i was having a conversation with a guy earlier and you know he's in the world but it just showed me how sleep people actually are I'm having a conversation with him and we're speaking about the fed now the CBDCs, the central bank digital currencies, and all these different types of things showing that America's, you know, these food prices, he's, pre he's privy to things about the, you know, uh, the, these food prices about to increase, right? You know, uh, skyrocket, you know, sometime in that, and, and, you know, maybe in July or sometime after that. But even still with all that, saying America's done, right? We agreeing on that. He still say, yeah, you know, something, 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 buying a house in 20 years or something like that, or paying off the house in 20... I looked at the guy and I said, <laughs> with what? Like, in my head, I'm thinking, like, with what? The American dollar? You already know it. Like, saying out his own mouth that this place, like, the American dollar is being devalued. So, like, that's how you know, really, the Heavenly Father truly has these people blinded, man, right? To really think that even though they see all of this stuff happening, somewhere in their reprobate minds, just something just not clicking. It just don't click. You said, I, after everything I just said. How in the hell do you think that this place is going to continue on for another twenty years, and then and then, and then you and then you could still you know pass something down to your? Ch it don't make sense, man, right? But that just shows you that the heavenly Father is blinding these people, man, from actually seeing the truth, from actually uh, you know putting two and two together, and and it shows us how much of how much of a blessing you know we have to 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 really have this ministry, man, right? First Thessalonians chapter five. Right. And then they really buy into what these Babylonian officials say, you know, these politicians and whatnot. Basically, Joe Biden and his administration saying that everything's going to be fine. Don't listen to that, y'all. People in the nation of Israel is basically saying that days are prolonged here. Everything's going to be fine, you know, or, you know, because you, you have different camps that, that basically prophesy against Jacob's trouble, which it talks about that in Jeremiah, the 14th chapter, speaking of being being a false prophet. 
saying that you know famine and famine and uh, 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 sword won't 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 plague the people by 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 famine and plague shall those uh, 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 and sword by those by those false prophets shall be destroyed. You see, so I'm gonna go ahead and read this. First Thessalonians five and three it says, "For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape." So meaning that these particular people in Joe Biden's administrations and you know these different politicians that get on these news channels to kind of you know uh, thwart your faith a little bit, right? Basically, what they're trying to do is they're trying to push out that peace and peace and safety vibration. But we understanding and having this ministry. Right, having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, we understand that when they try to push that vibration, that's because they're really scared. Because what they're trying to do is instill some type of confidence in the American citizens, right? Because without without the confidence of the American citizens, you know, constantly, you know, going to work, being good slaves, spending that money on the weekend, going out to eat and shopping here and doing that and buying this video and doing that, right? The economy can't thrive. But basically, people with them trying to instill some type of confidence, it's not working because ultimately at the same time, uh, in the book of Job, <clears throat> which I'm going to grab, Job, the 14th chapter, the heavenly the, uh, simultaneously, while they're trying to instill confidence, the heavenly father's uprooting that confidence. Job chapter 14 and where is it at? Uh, verse 11. Nah, where is that? 18. Salakia, bear with me, y'all. Job chapter 18 and verse uh, verse 14, it says, His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. So right while Esau Edom in 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, you know, so it says, you know, they're trying to instill peace and safety, that confidence, right? Because that's really what confidence is, that knowing of a surety that you're going to be fine and everything's going to be good. That's, that's confidence, right? And the same time, the Heavenly Father's uprooting that confidence to destroy this enemy, Right? So ultimately, what's happening, right? The sudden destruction is about to come right after what they say. You see, like, like it says in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Because when a woman, she's about to get burnt, it comes upon her suddenly. Even if she knows, like nowadays, really look at it from the ancient, ancient times, right? Now you can always say, all right, nine months, but it's still like a sudden. You don't know when it's going to happen. You got to run about the time. But when it happens, you're like, oh, shit, it's time. Right? So verse 4 is sudden. Right? So verse 4 says, but ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Right? So reading in, in, in the NLT, it says, <clears throat> uh, but you aren't in the darkness. So like, but you aren't in the dark about these things, dear brothers and sisters. You won't be surprised when the day of our autumn comes like a thief. Why? Because we already know the thief is coming. And who's the thief represented in this in, in, in this passage, right? Yahweh Shai, he shall come as a thief in the night, right? He's not a thief, but he's coming as a thief. You see what I'm saying? So that's the point, man, right? These people basically saying that, you know, everything is going to be fine and dandy. You know, uh, uh, we, got, we, we got 20, 50 more years or two, three, four, five. I don't see it, y'all. I, when I tell you, I don't see it. And I don't want to see it, right? But I'm telling you. Now, ultimately, I'm not going to be like, you know, biased or anything like if that's what the case, what it is, then that's what it is. But I'm telling you, from analyzing and measuring the time diligently in itself, that ain't what it is, y'all. Like, we ain't got no 20, 10, 15 more years here, right? Because like it says in Ecclesiastes 8 and 5, whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. A wise man's heart, meaning his mind, discerneth both time and judgment. So we can, we can discern through the judgments that's happening all throughout the earth. The judgments that's happening upon America, Babylon, right? And the time that we're in, along with those judgments, hey, yo, we out of here. You see what I'm saying? Buckle your seatbelts. You know, it's about, to get, it's about to get crazy. You know, because that means that what? Jacob's trouble is about to come, right? And these same people that's basically saying that none of this stuff is going to happen, you know, like, because you got a lot of God, like, listen, you got a lot of people in the nation of Israel saying that, you know, ain't nothing going to happen, man. And everything going to get better. You know, they really don't know what they're talking about, y'all. And, and you don't want to, like, take heed to any type of spirit like that, man. Right? It's basically telling you the days are far, uh, are far off. Right? Because all that person is is just a scoffer. Right? Let me go ahead and uh, grab this for you. Where is it at? 2 Peter 3? Yeah, 2 Peter 3 and 4. Highlight it for y'all. I'm going to read it in NLT. Right, so 2 Peter 3 and 4 in the NLT, it says, they will, uh, matter of fact, verse 3, it says, most importantly, highlight it, 
But most importantly, I want to remind you that in the last days, scoffers will come mocking the truth and following their own desires. Why? Why do these people say what they say? Because they follow after their own desires, not after the desires of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, right? Which is what? Luke chapter 12, verse 32. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, right? So what's the heavenly father's desire, right? To give us the kingdom. What's these people desire? Going after their own flesh, right? Serving, serving, you know, their, their heart's desire, not the heavenly father, right? Which is really to prosper them. But, you know, speaking of the Israelites, speaking of us Israelites, you know, ultimately, and what's, what's Yahweh Shai's desire as well? The heavenly father's will, but also the day of vengeance is in his heart. Meaning what? To pay back uh, uh, all of these other nations, right? Esau, Edom, for all that they've done unto us, man, right? That's that's the heavenly father's will, right? So ultimately, you falling up to your own lust, you know, not giving it to the heavenly father's will is really detrimental to your to, to your uh, own, uh, you know, to your own self, right? Second Ezra 15 and 56, this is what, you know, Yahweh Shai, is, this is what he wants. Second Ezra 15 and 56, it says, like as thou hast done unto my chosen, say of how to one, even so shall the heavenly father do unto thee and deliver thee into mischief. All right, that's the point, man. So basically the heavenly father, right, uh, and, and Yahweh Shai, they want to pay back vengeance unto, the, uh, unto these nations, man. Right, and these people are really trying to prevent it, which, you know, that's that's the wrong spirit to be in. Let me get this right here in Ezekiel, the 12th chapter, where the title actually uh, came from. Ezekiel, Ezekiel 12. So I can throw me off. Right here, Ezekiel 12, Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 22. Let me see what it's saying in the NLT. Let me see. I'm going to read it. It says a new proverb for Israel. Again, a message came from me from Hadawan, son of man. You've heard that proverb they quote in Israel. Time passes and prophecies come to nothing. Right. This is oh, I like this. This, this is what they say. In the, this is what they say, you know, for people that think they in the truth. Right. It says time passes and prophecies come to nothing. Yeah, they keep saying it's going to happen. It ain't happening. Tell the people this is what the sovereign uh, Adawan says. I will put an end to this proverb and you will soon stop quoting it. Now give them this new prop to re proverb to replace the old one. The time has come for every prophecy to be fulfilled. There will be no more false visions and flattering predictions in Israel, for I am Ha'adawan. If I say it, it will happen. There will be no more delays. You, you, it's like you, you rebels of Israel. I will fulfill my threat of destruction in your own lifetime. I, the sovereign Ha'adawan, have spoken. Right? That's the, whew, that's heavy, man. Right? It says, um, let me see, his visions won't come. Yeah, verse 26, this, this message came to me from Hadawan, son of man. The people of Israel are saying he's talking about the distant future. His visions won't come true for a long time, right? Therefore, tell them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, no more delay. I will now do everything I have threatened. I, the sovereign Lord, have spoken. So that's the point, man. The heavenly father, he about to turn it up. And these people, they keep talking shit. You know, they keep saying that it ain't going to happen. Right, what, like you know, they keep saying that it's uh, um, oh, I ain't even finished uh, uh the, the precept right here. This is what they keep saying, right? Second Peter 3 and verse 4 says, They will say, What happened to the promise that Yahweh Shai is coming again? For before the times of our ancestors, everything has remained the same since the world was created. That's what they're saying, right? But it's cool though, because now the Heavenly Father said, Oh, yeah, that's what you're saying. Well, now I, 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 I'm gonna I'm uh, I'm gonna put it forth into action. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually bring it even quicker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring a full circle now. Now I'm gonna do it, right? He was definitely gonna do it, but now he like, he like, you know, that's like, oh, oh yeah, now you trying me? Now I'm gonna definitely turn up, right? Something else I wanted to grab. It was some, what was another scripture? It's like pertaining to this, right? But yeah, so you, so you see, like, this is, this is, this is all beautiful, man. I can grab this in the meantime. Uh, I don't want to write this out and remember it, but if not, then it's okay. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 34. Read this in the uh, KJV. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 37, it says, it says, for yet a little while and he that shall come will come and he will not tarry. Right. It says that's the point. So who is he? Who is that? He that is talking about it's talking about Yahweh Shai, because when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's going to be wrecking stuff, man. It's, it's game over for these nations. It's game over for the wicked of our nation. It's game over for these people, man, which is a beautiful thing. And that's really what we're waiting for, man. We're waiting for Yahweh Shah, right? And, and, and he's coming. And he's coming very, very soon. And like it says in Habakkuk, the second chapter, that vision is yet for an appointed time, 
But at the end of show, speaking not, oh yeah, now I know what I want. The water y'all bash me shy. But at the end of show, speaking not lie. You see? Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right? Uh dang, did I lose it again? Uh Isaiah 14, that's what I wanted. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 27. Right? Matter of fact, verse 24 says, How Adawan of hosts have sworn, saying, Surely as I have as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. So with the heavenly father purposes. So what the heavenly father has sworn, right? And we read that in Ezekiel, the 12th chapter that said now all, all, all that he said that it was going to happen is going to happen. All of these prophecies are going to come to pass, right? Because Israel was really trying to heavenly father, man, thinking that, you know, think all these prophecies are for the distant, distant future. Well, how distant every time it come to you, 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 the, you the, uh, the next person just pass it on and say it's for the distant future. Well, it got to happen in somebody's lifetime, right? Verse 27 is for how to want if hosts have purpose and who shall disannul it? Disannul means cancel. And his hand have stretched out. Who shall turn it back? Meaning his hand is like putting into action. So who's going to turn the heavenly father's uh, uh, hand back when he when he set forth uh, plans in motion to put stuff in action? Can't nobody turn it, you know, foil his plans. Right. This ain't Scooby Doo. Right. So we see that the heavenly father, he's about he's about to turn up, man. And this is a beautiful thing. This is what we've been waiting for. So really don't hearken to that spirit. Brothers and sisters, don't be of that spirit. Yeah, distant future, distant future. No, these prophecies are coming full circle, man, and they're speaking, y'all. Right? So, I don't want to write this out. You know, you sincere, are the true believer. So, understanding that, move in such a way where we know this thing is over, right? Be, you know, be, be, be fervent in the spirit. Now, I'm not telling you go max out your credit cards or nothing. Still be wise, right? Because you don't know how much longer we got in this thing. You know, it could be months. I don't know, right? But I know it's soon. You know, and, and you don't want to make it harder on yourself while you are still here. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, you're moving in that in, in a way where if you're in that race, when you see the finish line, you see the tape, you see the checker, the checker uh, flag on the ground. Right. What you do, you turn up, you see. So make sure, you you know, you being sober, you being vigilant, staying on your P's and Q's and doing right by the Heavenly Father, man. Right. So I don't want to write you sincere hearted true believers will edify the exhorted and comforted with this message. Want to give all glory on it and praise unto my power. Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom to all you sincere hearted true believers. Keep fighting, keep pushing. We almost home, man. Shalom.